Hi, hello everyone. We are going to be talking all things animals today. Yay! Welcome to this first edition of Stamping with Friends. Uh, this used to be our suite of possibilities, but Katina and I have decided that we will change up um, our video hop that we do together and turn it into Stamping with Friends uh, because that's basically what we're doing. We're just stamping and we're friends. So there you go. So my name is Pip Todman. I run Queen Pip Cards and the Card Making Know How membership. And my buddy who I do my Stamping with Friends with is Katina Martinez and she is over in the US. So you get me from the UK and you get Katina from the US. You get double your money um, when we do our monthly video hops. So we're calling it Stamping with Friends and we're changing it up. So it's not going to be a suite. It's going to be a theme. So now our theme this month is animals. So we have loads and loads of fantastic animals. Um, I know some of these are still are no longer available in the States. They came and went so fast. Um, but hopefully playing in the rain is still around. Um, and the stamp set that goes with it, which is just so cute. And I'm also going to be sharing some new stuff from the upcoming catalogue as well. I have a sneak peek for you. OK, so who wants to get crafting? Let's get crafting. So let's put my lights on. Let's make sure that they're nice and bright. Woof, that was very bright. Sorry about that. And then we'll turn these ones up too so it's nice and balanced. There we go. OK, I now look like a ghost in the top left hand corner. So I apologise for looking so, so pale, but, you know, the lights are on. OK, so as I said, we're looking at animals and I have got for you uh, an amazing array of cards. Quite a lot of fun folds, actually, um, that this is one of the retreat projects I did this month, earlier in the month. So this is um, a lovely twist pop up card. Um, and then this is what I did for Easter with last year's um, Easter set, which is just cute. There's another one with a piggy. There's another one with a rabbit. I mean, honestly, I, I went to town with my um, this is another retreat project. Um, I went to town with with this for retreat. So let's get the rhinos out of the way. So apart from that, all of these and more are retreat. Plus we did a whole home decor piece all with this beautiful stamp set. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing a bit with this later on. Um, but the retreat is up for sale in my tutorials at the moment. But I've also done these fabulous cards with rhinos. And you might have you might have seen some of these that I did with these gorgeous rhinos. I think this is my favourite one. Isn't she just cute? I think it's a she. Could be a he. This one's definitely a she, I think. Fabulous. Uh, and then this one with a little party hat on. So I'm sorry that those have um, retired over already or gone out already over in the US. Um, but, you know, we, we, we've still got them over here in the UK, I think. So at the moment, uh, we're OK at the moment, depending on when this goes out. I found another one I did with the little rabbit. They're so cute so cute um and then i've done butterflies as well because let's not forget butterflies i'm so sad that this stamp set is retiring it is so gorgeous to do brilliant butterflies with um so butterfly brilliance is a stamp set and a die set and it just comes all in one sheet and just stamp it and die cut it and then you're away it's brilliant um so yeah so i thought i'd share with that you a few of the things that i've already made then at the end of this video i'm going to share it with you some other cards that I've received with animals on them so you get even more ideas but for now I want to show you I'm going to get rid of that for a minute I want to show you um, a couple of cards that we're going to make using some new stuff it's always exciting when I say new stuff then we're going to go back and we're going to do another card so you're going to end up with three cards for me today so let's do this one first so if you are lucky enough to have already received a copy of the new catalogue, um, you will know that Lemon Lime Twist is back. Yay! We don't we just all love Lemon Lime Twist. So I thought I would bring it out as a one of the cards. Um, and this is based on one of the cards. It's not set the same as one of the cards, but it's based on it. And it is just celebrating the fact that we're getting a new punch and that we have our punches back. They might be out of stock in your area, but our punches are back. One and three quarter, two inch and two and three eighths. That's the new one. 
and I've snuck in one that I kept from before, which is my two and a quarter because I just love it. So if you've got all of those punches or circle layers or dies or whatever, you can make this card. So in the new catalogue, we have a new set of papers called Zoo Crew. And it's got these fantastic little images on with little uh, mice catching butterflies. It's got um, trees. It's got fun black and white designs. It's got this little skunk, a little bird and some binoculars on his head. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Um, so I thought I'd make a card with this based on one that is in the new catalogue. So because I like mixing it up with um, circles and stuff. I've made cards with circles before. So I thought I would just do this one and give you an idea. It's only an idea of what's in the new catalogue. It isn't the same exactly. But, you know, sometimes that's OK. It doesn't have to be the same exactly. Now, this little guy, I want to actually I want to bring that down a smidge. Come on, I'm going to come down a smidge. There we go. He's going to go there and he's going to go up on some dimensionals. So I love the idea of using paper. Now, I don't have the die set for this, but apparently some of these shapes you can cut out with the die set, which is even more fun. Um, but I don't have that, so I liked the idea that I could just do this with circles, oops, circle punches, and just punching them out of the paper. Now, it does take a little bit of a while to work out where to punch, how to cut your paper, which is why I'm not doing it live or even recorded, because you might get a bit bored. OK, then he's going to come in here, I think. Maybe even down here. No, I think up here. And we're going to pop him over here. He's going to go underneath. He's going to go underneath. You're going to go underneath. Now, I think he needs to come up. And then we're going to have some. Oh, no, I think he needs to come up here. We're going to have some trees down here. Yeah, so he can come up here like this. And sort of like this. There we go. So he's coming up. He can go under. So just do them at different like heights and levels. Speaking of heights, I think that camera is just a little high. So I'm just going to bring you down a bit. Just make sure that your ground level always stays like level. Let's just bring you down a touch. Oh, that's a bit better, I think. You can see a bit better now. OK. So then we'll definitely tuck the trees underneath. They're going to go underneath. Look at that. Like so, we'll pop him here, I think. He can come over here. These are going to go over here, and then we're going to have a sentiment popping in here. I'm not sure how big a sentiment. Like, I don't know. I want to, I'm kind of thinking I'm, yeah, but then it's obvious that those are not cut out fully. So let's not do that. So let's just cut that down a bit shorter. So this is just a um, happy birthday that I've heat embossed. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to layer him up as well. He needs to be up too, I think. There we go. So, um, but I like these just plain, simple circle designs. Adds a bit of fun. Uh, we can just put him off centre a little piece so that we still get some of the trees and the grass behind. I quite like that grass behind. So he's now going to have to come up on a dimensional or two. I'll do two at least. Let's see, is he going to tuck in up there? Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. OK, and then we can see how big our happy birthday needs to be. So we could even tuck him underneath, couldn't we? And then just slant that off there. So let's slant him off there. And we can tuck him right up under there. Perfect. I don't think he needs to be up. He can be down. And we can just slide him in. Just make sure that you keep this layer, this bottom edge up until he's in place. Otherwise, you're going to get glue all over the bottom of your card. We don't want that. Let's just make sure he's actually straight with the bottom of the card. Yep. There we go. How simple was that? I mean, OK, I didn't do the punching, but it's just punching. Punching circles, popping them all up on a 
fun fun card it's quite cute i like that and i love these new animals i think they're great going to be a good addition to the team as i think so that's that one and then i wanted to do something with uh, something a bit paler this time so i've gone for the um sea um soft sea foam and pool party nearly called it seaside spray then that's going back a bit um so well, i thought i'd pop this one on here and then i don't have the stamps that go with it but i liked the idea of cooking stuff and cooking it and turning it into some kind of birthday celebration of some kind so i grabbed the um circle sayings and decided we could just pop that up there we just need to color this bit in so i'm going to do some pale daffodil delight frosting or icing as we call it in the uk and then i'll just pop this on here leave a few bits that are showing the light glistening in fact, we might be covering, we might need to cover this up with a bit of Winker Stella just to give it the, the sparkle of frosting. This one can be full down here. Lovely. So that's our cake. This is darker because it's the actual cupcake. Next, so. We've got our frosting with our little glistening bits and our darker bits. Okay, so then I just need pool party. One moment. I knew I'd forgotten something. Pool party. So we'll do pool party for the casing, and then that will link into the background and also to the um, car base and also to her little her little bucket there. Bucket? No, not bucket. Mixing bowl. Honestly, Pip, get a grip. And I'm not being particularly careful per se, just right, just right at this minute. I'm going to go in and finish off the underneath bits here. A bit darker at the side, a bit darker up at the back. A bit lighter where it can catch the light. Doesn't have to be a masterpiece. There we go. And then Circle Sayings, by the way, is also a paper party stamp set and matches with this new circle, the two and three eighth circle. So that's why I thought I'd give that a whirl today. So then this one's even easier. We can just pop on and um, pop up, if you know what I mean. And then I will save some stamping for the next one. There we go. So I'll pop this one on. Now, what you can do as well is it doesn't have to be like she's she's OK, but I don't really like this bit over here because it's um it kind of detracts from her i think i couldn't get a good whole piece of her without these end bits i don't mind this bit so much but this bit's a bit detracting so i'm just going to chop that off it sounds quite radical i know but it's actually not very radical so if you line up her feet then you know that she's going to be sort of central and not look like she's dancing and then you can just whip that bit off like that there we go and she still looks just as good but now she's not she's not got anything to distract us here which is great and then he's okay because he's you know just sitting chilling doing his marshmallows and then if we bring this one in here now that forms a really nice circle so we'll pop her down flat to the card and I think in this case we'll pop the lion flat as well. There we go. 
and then we'll pop him flat down here. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. He's just chilling, doing his marshmallow bit. Make sure he's straight as well. And then we'll pop this bit up on dimensionals to go above. Oh, and I need to do my Winker Stella, make it sparkly. Make sure you've got enough so when it goes through the post, we get no soggy middles. A bit like our cooking, we don't want any soggy bottoms. In card making, we don't want any soggy middles when it goes through the post. Okay, so that goes on there like so. Ta -da. Nice. That's a cute quick card, isn't it? Really cute. You could add some background stamping if you wanted to. Um, you know, you can um, pop on a little bit of decoration. That's also fine. And of course, you can add sparkles, etc., etc. We've got to have a bit of bling. I think plain rhinestones will probably go the best with these at the moment. So we'll do some plain rhinestones. Oh, where's my tape my pick tool? There we go. So we'll just add a couple of sparkles on. Might add one at the top of the cake. There we go. And then a couple of bigger ones. Oh, why have you flipped over? There we go. Because they're circles, they'll go nicely with the design, if you know what I mean. And tuck those ones underneath and then just scatter a few more. This is where I get really carried away. I'll do one sort of here ish. There we go. Yeah, kind of looks okay, but I'm thinking we need another, need another little one. Is that a little one? I can't remember. Little one down there, like so. And then we'll do another one up here. Like so there we go that kind of looks okay so now we've got our sparkles on and then we just add our wink of stella in my carousel okay so this is just a glitter pen um and the glitter is in the actual in the well up here and so you can paint anything and give it a sparkle i love my wink of stella and it's great, especially for cakes, because, you know, cakes need frosting and it needs to be icing that's glittery. And oh, look at that. So if you if I get that at the right angle, you'll see that sparkling away. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> Love a bit of Wink Stella. OK, so we've done that one. We've done that one. Let me show you some more um, cards that I've received as gifts. Um, which also have animals on, just so that we can remember other animals that we've got. So we've seen rhinos um, and various things like that. Now we have a rabbit. So cute. And this one's carrying forward. So I love that. So um, I don't think it's going to be a bundle, though. So if you want the bundle, get the bundle now. This one's retiring, this gorgeous frog. It's a host set. So that's cute. Obviously, we've got our birds from the By the Bay set, which is also carrying forward. So you're OK there. And we've got our lovely llama from Guacamole. Um, that's also carrying forward, so that's good. And then we've got our lovely cat, which sadly is not carrying forward. So if you want a cat, you've got to get this cat ASAP. I don't even know if it's still available in any anywhere. But if you want it, you've got to grab it. Crazy cats or something like that. It's beautiful. Um, this is the raccoon. This is actually out of a, a kit, a card kit, all inclusive card kit, the get well one, best remedy. So that's so cute when you see it stamped. And then this, of course, is the lovely queen bee, which unfortunately I don't think is carrying forward. I'm sure that's retiring. So that's also a really sad one. So do, do you see what I mean? Everyone says, oh, stamping up lots of flowers. But look how many animal sets we've got. Masses of them. So we're not just flowers, folks. OK, we do do we do do other things <laughs> uh, and we've got lots more coming. Um, 
as you can see from the zoo crew. But now I thought what I would do is supposing you don't have the zoo crew, but you want to um, craft along with me. Well, this is the time when you can do that. So if you grab your um, if you grab your playing in the rain or any other animal stamp set that you have, get yourself a card base and your first layer. And then you're going to need some um, white card to do some stamping with and then a memento and some blends or however you prefer to colour your cards in. OK, so I've got that. I've got that. Now we're going to actually do something on this first. So I've got my playing in the rain set and I just want to stamp a few a few clouds in the background because we didn't um, we didn't get to do clouds on the background of the the zoo crew one that we had a minute ago so i'm just gonna do that and i'm going to do it in a balmy blue now i want it stamped off i don't want it too heavy i want it quite light so i'm going to bring in a piece of grid of uh, grid paper so when i mean stamped off it means you ink it up so that if you stamped it would be your first generation ink but if you stamp it off and then stamp it that becomes second generation and see how much lighter it is so we're going to just do second generation and we're not going to do many we're just going to do a few little clouds along the back like so okay so now we've got our stamped off clouds along the back and i use the grid paper because if you go over it doesn't go all over your surface and i just get the big the big packs and then cut it down because there's so much in a big pack it's great all righty so now we need our animals so we've got our rabbit our little turtle and our fox so we're going to stamp those he can go on that one he needs a bigger one although we're not going to we're not going to be able to get him all out so we're going to have to stamp him twice you'll see what i mean in a bit can he fit on there no we need the cloud one let me just clean this off hopefully you're all excited about the new catalogue not long now before you can get your hands on the goodies that are coming and i'm sure that katina has got lots of good things to show you over in her video as well so i hope that you're going to hop over and see her after you've watched me but if you do want to shop for anything that you've seen uh, and if you live in the uk then you can do that very easily you can just go on to my online store which is at the bottom of the screen now so queenpitcards.com forward slash store uh, so now we need some white cardstock. Now you can see me moving all over the place. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep that to one side. We're sticking with the circle themes. So I've got a piece of basic white cardstock here, and I'm going to stamp my little fellas. Okay in memento because i'm going to be using blends and i want it sort of close-ish to the edge but enough so that i can do a circle punch now that might be too far out we'll have to wait and see so give yourself lots of space in between your don't do them like if you were going to cut them out with the dies you do them right close together but don't do that leave a bit of space so you can cut them out with punches now this this guy here he's going to be too big even for the big new two and three eighths but don't panic about that because we're going to work him in a different way so still stamp him all up that's fine let's just pop him over here in the corner hopefully we'll have enough space around him there there we go oh what have i got on there Ugh, messy see if i can get rid of that i don't know what that is otherwise we're gonna have to have to stamp him again well hopefully we won't get most of that in the circle punch we'll see okay so now we've got them uh, stamped 
I'm going to punch them out so we know what we're dealing with. So the fox is obviously going to need the big one. And we'll get most of him in. But as I say, we won't get his umbrella in. But that's OK, because we can add that back in again in a minute. So rabbit, we need to come a bit closer in. Thought I might need to. So if you do, just chop that bit off as far as you can so you can get your punch inside. He also needs to be this size punch and we're still going to either lose a foot or an ear. So I think I'm going to rather lose a foot because we can hide that behind somebody else or a greeting or something like that. And I'm kind of hoping we can put the, the turtle in a smaller one. Oh no, he needs to be a bit bigger. Hold on. Let's try the two and a quarter. I want them to be slightly different sizes. There we go. He fits in that one. So you can't get the two and a quarter at the moment, but if you've got a similar size circle die or punch, then use that. OK, now let's get rid of that piece. And now we're just going to colour them in. So I have an array of colours in front of me, all based on the papers, really, at the moment. That, are, that were live at the minute. Oh, here we go, lots of different colours. OK, so for the rabbit, I don't really want very much more other than just a little bit of soft pink on the tips of his ears and a little bit inside his ears. Doesn't need to be much. A little bit on his cheeks. Just some soft colouring and maybe a little bit on his foot. He doesn't really need a lot because he looks great. We might do his hands. But really, he's a white rabbit. Yeah, maybe a pink nose. Do a pink nose. That makes more sense. There we go. So there's our oh, colour's gone funny a bit. There's our little white rabbit with just a little bit of colouring. Oh, let's take that ticker tape off the bottom. Sorry. There we go. A little bit of colouring going on there. OK. So I don't know why that's suddenly gone dark. There we go. That's a bit better. Come on, readjust yourself again, hopefully. Oh, that's, my, that's my camera light. Where's it going? Why is that not? I don't know what's going on here. Let's move these out of the way. I think these are making a difference. OK, so there he is. He's coloured. Then we've got um, a light Cajun craze. And uh, that's a dark one. Light Cajun craze. And also we've got a dark Calypso coral. And where's the light Calypso coral gone? This one. Light Calypso coral. So we're going to use that for the fox. Oh, there we go. It's going a bit lighter again now. So... We'll start off with his a few highlights. And so I want to have his tail lightest. This looks almost pink, but we'll, it won't, it isn't really. So light calypso coral. And then the front of his face is lighter. Do that. And then his, I'll do um, a little bit of light on his hand. That's going to be darker, but that one will be a bit lighter. And maybe a little light tips on his ears. And that one. Okay, and then we'll go in with some dark Calypso Coral. And we'll put in some darker bits here, darker bits on his ears dark bits for the rest of him. He's now going to be sort of dark. I'm going to have to blend that in a bit to get that a bit better. And then eventually we're going to go into like a Cajun craze colour. So he's going to be all sorts of three colours going on. 
So I'm just laying the first layer down at this point. Okay, and we'll put his feet as sort of light calypso. And maybe bring some of that in there. That's going to be dark for sure. Okay, and then we'll get the dark Cajun cranes out. Oops. Oh, come on. There we go. And that's coming in right here. Is the light one? That's the light one, isn't it? So we'll do the light one across here. Coming in. And then his haunches. So add a bit of blending coming in here. Like so. I actually think his ears need to be a bit darker than that. There we go. And then we've got the dark Cajun craze. That's going to come in here underneath. And just do the extra dark bits. So we're layering it all down like this and then we'll go over and give it a wash. Okay, so that looks kind of a bit bitty at the moment. But if you then go back over this with the, um, I use the brush end of the Cajun craze to sort of flick it. That's that's going to meld those together a little bit better. There we go. We'll do the same from this side. A bit of flicking. See how that starts to blend that out now. Okay. This is the hardest line here, this one between the two. So we'll do a little bit of flicking with this so it looks a little bit more like fur with different sizes and varieties and see I'm taking that all the way back into this darker colour as well so it has a bit of um, calypso coral flowing through this this darker set here too and that helps to blend that all in nicely and then we'll finish off with a bit of It's a coral light. Mm, it seems to have disappeared. Okay, my Calypso coral light is not is running out. So I'm just not surprising. I've had it about four years now. So there we go. So that sort of eases that in and makes that look a little bit more like fur. He is the hardest one, I think, to colour because of the different tones that you want to have on his um, on his fur. So I'm going to go a little bit quicker because I'm conscious of time. So I'm going to give him a blue jacket and hat. So blue, dark blue here, here, dark blue on his hat. And then a light blue for the rest of him. I'm not, you don't need to take so much time over his hat or his coat. You can do if you want to, but um, add all the highlights and everything that you want to. But I, I tend to, apart from animals and their fur, I tend to be a quick colourer.
because with blends you can be. There we go. There we go. So that's him with his little coat on. Okay, so now we've just got the turtle to do. And the turtle I'm just going to do in some greens. So I've got a pale. Um, this is, uh, what is this? This is light old olive. So we're going to do light old olive. Going in here. Because a turtle really does need to be green, doesn't he? I think. Or brown, really. I've actually got a picture of a turtle right above my head at the moment. And it's all in browns. But I thought, well, with the fox being brown, let's, um, let's give him a green shell. Okay. And then the dark old olive for his humps and lumps and bumps. And if you want to, you can lighten those, those up with adding a bit of light to that as well, if you want to. I'm just going to go as it is. There we go. He looks like a, he looks like a turtle. And then I think I'm going to do this inside shell green as well. There we go. And then his legs and his face are going to have as light Cajun crows. Yeah, if I can find my light Cajun crows again. There it is. <coughs> This card is going to be very similar to the last one and to the one we did with all the, the zoo crew on it once he's coloured in. I probably should have done some of this colouring beforehand but I just wanted to show you how we're going to cut them out of the, um, with the punches but I suppose I could have coloured them beforehand. So I'm sorry if you're bored watching me colouring. And then we'll just add a little, little daffodil delight circle to the middle of the flower. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to sort out his umbrella. So we can either sort of hide it behind the foot and the, you know, we can do that, which looks a bit odd. Um, or we can just put his umbrella back in again. So to do that, we just stamp it again on the white. So let's move these out of the way. We're just going to stamp again on the white. There we go. I'm going to do it this way around so I'm not stamping on my desk. And then I'm going to cut the umbrella out by hand his head there we go just cut this out like so and then we can just color the umbrella and pop this over the top and then that will be fine because we've already got the top of his hand, like the top of the stem, we just need to cover up the the bit that's missing. So we'll do this. And we'll do this. And then we'll try and get that little bit there. If I cut it off, I'm not that worried. But if we can leave it on, that would be great. There we go. Just okay. So to finish, -da, we're going to have our three intrepid guys. He'll be up there. He'll be down here. So we'll just be able to kind of get them in. 
his foot's going off but that's okay because his foot is going off and then we can pop his umbrella on there like so and then we can put a little sentiment down here so we'll see if oh happy day is going to fit yeah probably oh definitely on that side so we'll pop that on now And I'm going to do it in black so it shows up a little bit better. I'm just checking my phone is okay because it's running out of juice. So we'll do Oh Happy Day there. Ta -da! And then we'll just attach these. And again, flat or on dimensionals. Put him down flat like so. He's going to go flat like so. And then he's going to go on dimensionals in the middle. Then we'll pop that on our card base. Like so. I would colour the umbrella normally, but I think my I think my camera is going to die on me. So that's, I'm whizzing. I'll show you pictures on my blog post of it finished with him coloured. How's that? So you can hop over and see Katina and see her video now. You can um, if you're watching this from my blog, that's great. Uh, if not, you can. Um, Hop over and see my blog. The links are all in the description underneath this video. So you can see that too. He can go on there like so. He's actually jumping that way, isn't he? So we need to put his feet in the right direction. And then we'll just pop that up there. I think I'm going to have to take that bit off, sadly, because it's going to go up over the top of the card otherwise, and that's going to be annoying. And we'll pop that on with some minis. So if you want to grab Playing in the Rain, this is still available and you can get it as a bundle before it goes off into the new catalogue um, or split out into its different component parts. Uh, there was still paper available as well at the time of recording. Whether it is still available, I have no idea. You better check that. But it is a gorgeous set. Uh, and of course, in the new catalogue, we're going to have Zucru as well. So, oh, it's all gone pale again. There we go. <laughs> so every time I move my hand away, I don't know what's going on. I think it's because it's running out of juice. OK, so we've got. So today we've done these two from Zucru. This one. And this one. All with punches. This with circle sayings, which is going to be in Paper Party. And this one with Playing in the Rain, which is still available. OK, so let's go back to here. Turn that off. We don't need that light on. OK, so if you want to come and play with um, Stamp with me and Katina some more, then come and join us at Paper Party. That's now available to book. Um, if you're in the UK, you can book with me. Uh, if you're in the US, book with Katina. She's going to have a link uh, to her paper party registration. I'm not sure if she's registering yet, but I am. So if because um, my guys are just really want to they want to do it now. Um, and then if you want to come along and shop for anything that you've seen, then you can use that link in, in below as well. So thanks ever so watching. Thanks ever so much for watching <laughs> this month's Stamping with Friends, which is our new um, video hop with both of us doing um, a video each. So you get me and then you get Katina. So thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see you again next month or in between in my lives that I do every week. Take care for now. Bye bye.